So guys, welcome, and guess what we're doing today? We're talking about tennis, one of my favorite things. And if you love tennis or if you've never played before, these are all still good pointers because we're gonna talk about our second serve. The second serve is the most important shot in tennis because if you don't get it in, you lose the point. And nothing's worse than all you have to do is get it in and you can't do it. You're starting the point. It's all up to you. Guys, remember, go ahead and subscribe and sign up for notifications and hit like if you like this because there's always more. There's always more tennis tips coming to you, so you kind of want to know when those are happening, especially if you're crazy about tennis like I am. Okay, so the second serve is an extremely important shot in tennis because you're going to hit them. And if you don't get it in, you'll lose the point. Pretty important, right? So I'm going to show you the important things about a second serve. It's not necessarily going to be a demo of the second serve because if you want to watch the basic serve technique, you can go ahead and watch that video. We've done it already, but we're going to talk more about placement and strategy. So with a second serve, you're going to want to hit a kick serve if you can, but that's not the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb is typically on a second serve, you're going to want to hit to the backhand side, but if your opponent is getting used to that, they know it's coming there, they can just be there waiting, you know, eating chips and waiting for you to hit to the backhand. So you're gonna to wanna to move that second serve around. That's part of the strategy is, okay, 80% of the time we're going to the backhand, but the other 20% we're keeping them honest. And of course they have a blatant weakness. We're gonna attack that too. So we're gonna use that second serve. Hopefully it's a kick. Sometimes you can go hit a flat one to you know, keep them on their toes or a slice that's moving into their body. Remember a slice is moving for a right hander. It's gonna be the opposite for a left. It's gonna be moving from right to left. Kick is moving from left to right if you've got that movement. So that's what we're doing in terms of placement. So if you're hitting a kick and it's not really bouncing high and it's not really moving from right to left, there's gonna be a sitting duck. So probably a kick serves not something that's gonna work out for you as you might like it. So what I'm gonna show you right now is where you wanna want those balls to land in the box. And I'm gonna show you the box right now. I'm gonna show you on each side, so in the deuce court, where you're gonna have these balls. So if you have a kick serve, it's gonna be a great advantage to be able to serve it here and have that ball moving from the, from, um, the, right, uh, from the right to the left. And am I getting that right? I always, just, I feel like I'm never saying that right, but yes, yeah, right to the left. So that way, not only is your opponent having to move to the ball, also when they get there, it's moving from right to left, so they're stretching. And hopefully you're getting a chance to attack after that because they hit a weak reply or a short ball. So if that's not happening, but if someone's not attacking your serve and they're just sitting back, okay, fine, do that. So that's our placement here, second serve hitting it. If your kick serve isn't the best, you're gonna to wanna to use your slice serve. So we're gonna start going more body. And we're gonna hit that slice serve, and the slice serve is gonna be moving from left to right, okay? So it's gonna be going, I think I'm getting this all wrong. I feel like I'm getting it all wrong. That's right to left, and that's right. Anyway, it's gonna just be moving right. Regardless, the slice serve is gonna be going in the opposite direction. So it's a nice opportunity on that second serve to hit a slice, so that way when the ball hits, it's moving into their body. So that, that slice ball and it's moving to their right, then it's gonna be hitting in the box here. So you're gonna be hitting in the middle of the box and it's gonna be moving into my body. So it's gonna be difficult for me to have room. Nobody wants to play tennis in here, that doesn't even look right. We want to play tennis out here. So on the second serve, we're not going to want to let them be playing out here in their strike zone. We want the ball to be here. We want to be moving away from them. We want to be moving it into their body. And then, of course, there are going to be other times where you're just going to blatantly hit to the forehand, which is usually a no-no. But what we're doing that for is that their forehand is weaker um, to keep them honest so that way they don't know exactly where we're serving. And we're going to be aiming over into this part of the box. So remember on your second serve, 75, 80% of it's to the backhand. The other part is keeping them honest with the body and the forehand. And just remember, on a second serve, you can never go wrong by hitting it directly in the body. It's an easy target, it's a big target. And especially if you're feeling a little bit nervous, that's a super easy target to hit. Same thing happens over here in the ad court. Is most of the time, we're hopefully getting it here. It's very difficult. One of the most difficult shots in tennis is serving to the ad court, especially on the second serve. So if you're not comfortable doing that, you can always serve over here into the body and jam them, give them the opportunity, and then keep them honest. Go to the forehand sometimes too. 
So I hope that helps you to understand the second serve and the mechanisms behind it. If you want to know more about basic serving or the kick serve, you can also check out those videos. Okay, so remember second serve is most important shot, so make sure you work on your second serve. Don't just think it's gonna happen, work on it. And I hope that you enjoy this in your second serve. It's very fruitful and hopefully a little bit dangerous. I hope you like this. Go ahead and click like and subscribe, sign up for those notifications. And I'll see you another time when we do some more tennis stuff and I'll see you on all the other stuff we do too. Thanks.